Hi, my name is Fred Popeski. I've been invited by the wellness program at Roswell Park to tell you about the benefits of Qigong and how it can help you in your healing journey. A lot of you may not have heard of Qigong and it's just slow, gentle movements that can be done whether you're standing, sitting, or even laying down. Some of the benefits of Qigong that it will boost your immune system, significantly reduce pain, and eliminate stress from the body. With those three things in mind, anybody can benefit. This is not to say that they're a replacement for the care that you're getting now. It's something that can be integrated into what you're already doing. Whether you're getting chemo, radiation, surgery, or none of, none of the above. When doing the Qigong, it should be done with slow, gentle movements. There's no straining or effort involved in it. And it, it should connect with the breath. And everything is slow and deliberate, but if something hurts, you should never do it. Think of it as self-care. So you don't want to do anything that's going to cause any harm or any pain in any way, shape, or form. It's just slow, gentle movements. So I will demonstrate a few of them. I'm going to sit down. I'll choose to sit down to do them. And you can follow along or just watch. We'll begin with the first one, that's absorbing the pure essence. And that's just to sit and breathe and relax. I'll start demonstrating a few of the postures and you can choose to either follow along or just watch and see how it's done. The first one is called absorbing the pure essence. Pretty much just sitting or standing or laying down and focusing on your breath. And at the end of the, each posture, we'll breathe up. And that's just breathing in, letting your arms just float up like they're weightless. And when you exhale, relax your shoulders, your elbows, your wrists, your neck. Really going right down your spine. And relaxing your hips. And we're going to search the sea. You begin keeping your chin level and breathe in. And breathe out. Real slow, gentle movements. And go the other way, breathing in. And breathing out. And then you breathe up. Just relaxing.
And we have one called Looking at the Moon. Tuck your chin. And again, it's slow, relaxed moving. You breathe in as you look up. And exhale, just relaxing. Right? Relax. Now we'll lift the tripod and remember, if it hurts, you don't do it. So don't do anything that's going to cause you any pain, but do the best you can. So the, breathe in. And slowly stretch. And then relax. Again. and easy. Relax. Might feel tension and stress leaving your shoulders now. Draw the bow. Breathe in. And stretch. And breathe out and relax. And breathe up. And we're going to do falcon facet swings. And you put your hands back to back. Just let them come up here. Breathe in. Just slowly relax. Lift your arms. And breathe out. If you have any shoulder pain, just don't have to go high. If you can, you do. All over along the best you can. So if you can only go this high, that's okay. Don't try to force the healing to allow it. So when we're doing these shoulder like this one here, we did earlier, if you have shoulder problems and you can only go this high, that's perfectly fine. Now we'll do plucking the stars. Look down at your hand. Hold it up slowly as you breathe in. And stretch up over your head and follow it down. On the other hand, breathe in. So I stretch. Follow it down.
and breathe up. The key to Qigong is to do it just slow and gentle and consider it self-care more than it is exercise. If you keep that in mind, you'll be slow and gentle. You'll be kind to yourself. Treat yourself like you would somebody in your family that was ill. This is very good for patients as well as caregivers. And the goal is to be the best you you can possibly be. And that's by relaxing and breathing. And if you have any more questions on Qigong and how it can help you in your healing journey, you can contact Ashley King, our wellness program coordinator. Thank you, and I hope to see you again soon.